Thank you, Sam. And now we have more breaking news with Shelby. Thank you, Shannon. I'm Shelby Jones here with more breaking news live from the Boston Massacre. I'm here with William Wyatt, a Bostonian who had his boat harbored at the docks in Boston. Mr. Wyatt, can you please tell us what happened at the docks? I was in Boston down at Treat's Wharf where my vessel was lying and hearing the bells ring, supposed that there was a fire in the town, whereupon I hastened up to the townhouse on the south side of it where I saw an officer of the guard, lead, officer of the army, lead out of the guardhouse their seven or eight soldiers of the army and lead them down in seeming haste to the custom house on the north side of King Street where I followed them and when the officer had got there with the men, he bid them face about. The said officer ordered his men to lead, which they did accordingly, with the utmost dispatch. Then they remained about six minutes with their firelocks rested and bayonets fixed, but not in exact order. And then what did you see? I observed a considerable, amount of no a considerable number of young lads, and here and there a man amongst them, about the middle of the street, facing the soldiers. I observed some of them had sticks in their hands, laughing, shouting, huzzahing, and crying fire but could not observe that any of them had thrown anything at the soldiers, or threatened any of them. Then the said officer retired from before the soldiers, and firing, he stamped and said, Fire be the consequence of what it will. Then the second man on the left wing fired off his gun, then after a very short pause, they fired one after another as quick as possible. Then again on the right wing, the last man's gun on the left wing flashed in the pan, then he cried again. And the people being withdrawn from before the soldiers, most of them further down the street, he turned his gun toward them and fired upon them. And what happened after that? Immediately after the principal firing, the said officer, who had commanded the soldiers above to fire, sprang before them, waving his sword or stick, saying, You rascals, what did you fire for? And struck up the gun of one of the soldiers who was loading again. Whereupon they seemed confounded and fired no more. And I remember the said officer was going down with the soldiers towards the custom house. A gentleman spoke to him and said, Captain Preston, for God's sake, keep your men in order, and mind what you are about. And further I say not. Thank you, Mr. Wyatt. That's all for this story. I send you back to Shannon.